police in Belgium conducted more raids overnight, hunting for more terror networks. And we are learning more about that massive raid outside Paris Wednesday morning that stopped another attack, killed two terrorists, with DNA tests now trying to determine if one of them was a mastermind. Abdel Hamid Abaoud, World News anchor David Muir, on the scene just outside of Paris. Good morning, David. George Robin, good morning to you. And we have just learned that French authorities have been given broader powers. The state of emergency extended a moment ago to three more months, which really allows them to go into these homes here, search them, and detain people if needed. That raid we talked about happened just here behind me. And we are learning this morning Belgian prosecutors confirming that they have received DNA samples. They'll be testing them. And George, as you alluded to, the main question here is did they or did they not catch the mastermind? This morning, a French prosecutor now says the daring and deadly raid here in this suburban Paris neighborhood could very well have stopped another terror plot from unfolding. That Paris prosecutor saying this offensive here deep inside the Saint-Denis neighborhood before the sun came up was able to stop a terror cell in its tracks. He said it had the weaponry, the planning and the will to carry out another attack. Under cover of darkness at 4.20 in the morning, SWAT teams of more than 100 officers zeroed in on this apartment building Wednesday morning, where cell phone records and eyewitness accounts had placed a man they consider the mastermind of the attacks here in Paris on the third floor of this building, an apartment, a safe house for the man behind the plot. A fierce gun battle breaking out. By 4.45, police equipped with snipers, grenades, and assault rifles storming through the reinforced doors they came upon, trying to barrel into that apartment. Facing off with several suspects inside, including a woman who investigators believe might have been related to the mastermind, Abdelhamid Aboud. She would blow herself up, detonating a suicide vest. Terrified neighbors telling us they heard and saw the horror hidden and barricaded behind their own windows. What was it like listening to that? I was very scared. I considered the possibility that could be the end of my life. Though police cordoned off the neighborhood, we went to get a closer look, climbing onto a roof across the street, the scope of the destruction in plain sight. Not only is every window blown out, but you can see the the signs of impact against the cement wall there behind us. At least two terror suspects dead, including the woman who blew herself up. And this morning, forensic tests underway to determine if Abu, the man behind the plan, according to authorities, is one of the dead. A senior administration official at the White House telling ABC News that the U.S. awaits confirmation from the French before commenting, saying they will leave it to the French to make any announcement. And as you could see, Robin and George, we were actually able to make it to that building, climbing up onto that roof. You could see the sheer firepower of the building essentially destroyed, windows blown out. And one mother on the floor below said the screams and the gunfire was so loud, she thought that the ceiling was going to cave in on her. She was clutching her baby in the bathroom. And one final note from authorities here, and it's chilling. They said they had the weaponry, the will inside that building, that cell willing to plan out another attack. They believed the word they used was neutralizing. They believe they've neutralized yet another possible terror plan here in Paris. Robin and George. Oh, terrifying. Mm -hmm. All right, David, thank you so much. And David, we know you'll have much more tonight on World News Tonight.